Hello, third video in the series. I'm going to show you how to use this parsing table for a given input. That being said, let's get started. We have the input A, C, D. And we start writing here big bracket. And we start in state number one. And we put all the non-processed characters on the right side of this here. Our first input that we're going to have is an A. So we check out the A and we see shift three. So we have a first state here, we shift the A, we end up in state three, and we write all the non-processed symbols over here. If you want, you can also, can you can all, strange English, you can do like this, we went from one to three. Then we check out the next input is a C, we check out state number three, we're in this state, and we have the input C, we have shift six, so just writing the same, we shift the C and end up in state number six and write all the non-processed stuff on the right side. And we may went to state number six. Now we have the input D. State number six, input D is not allowed. Which is of course total not correct because D is apparently allowed here. Uh, should have been a shift five in here. Sorry for that. And this is what went wrong supposed to be like this. Okay, so I was a little bit surprised now. Let's go on in here. We had a shift from the right to the left and we end up in state number five. And now I'm going to draw for the first time this dollar symbol. Uh, usually maybe when you have an exam then you have to write the dollar everywhere. But instead of repeating myself I just write it here now. Okay, now we are in state number five and we have the dollar as the next input. State number five dollar reducing by rule number three. So we exchange the B, sorry, we exchange the D with a big B. The dollar stays. The problem is we had a reduction by rule number three. And as you see, we have no state in here that we have to write, oh, sorry, that we can write. So we have to figure out this state somehow. Uh, for doing that, we check out state number six, the last state in our stack state number six and we have a B this time here we look at this part now and we see a seven so we know we have to write a seven we're in state number seven now to not be confused let's make this a zigzag line for figuring out the next state after reduction we check out the last thing here and the last thing here okay that being said we're in state number seven now and we have the input dollar so the end of input we have a reduction by rule number two we'll which will reduce CB to a B. So it's going to be like this. Again, no state here. We check out the B in here and in state number three. So we figure, okay, we have to go to state number four. Oh, by the way, we can do this here as well. We went from six to five. Then we had a reduction to end up in seven. Then we had a reduction of one, two symbols and we ended up in four. Okay, let's keep this going in here. Now we're in state number four, state number four, and we have, again, dollar as input. We reduce by rule number one, A, B becomes an S. Once again, we check out the S in state number one, which brings us to state number two. Once again, we reduce by one, two characters and went on with state number two. We're here now. We check out state number two, input dollar, Accepting. Okay, we're finished. I think that wasn't that hard. That is how to use this table. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any comments or questions regarding the specific sections, feel free to put them in the comments. Make sure to check the video description for any updates. And thank you very much for watching.